Here we have a 2080 Ti video card that came in for repair. I do not know why anybody want to fix a 2080 Ti, but do not argue with the customer. Let's read what the customer wrote. And let me make sure that this one is the 2080, yeah, 2080 Ti, Founders Edition. The card looks something like this. That's how the card looks like. And if we read the description, the ticket description, what do we have? I changed from a water block to an air cooler, but now it doesn't boot or show an image. I see a VGA light on motherboard. So he switched from a water cooler, a water block to a fan and something happened. Let's quickly go over the card. We have two 12 volt inputs. Just a quick visual inspection. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. We have a blown cap. Let me measure quickly to see if we have a short circuit on that cap. If we have a short circuit, then that short will prevent the card from working. If we do not have a short circuit, then the cap may not be the only problem. I mean, this side of the cap is completely gone. Can we measure from here to here? Yeah, the cap is shorted. The cap is created in a short. And if we measure that fuse right next to it, the fuse is measuring good. That may be our problem. We may be one minute away from fixing that cord. And that fuse is blown. That fuse is blown. So there's something else going on with the cord. If we measure one side, we are reading 0 0.5 voltage drop. And if we measure this side, we have a well. So we know the fuse is blown. Why is it blown? We do not have a short. It's just blown. No short circuit anywhere. Let me flip the card quick. Look at the back. We have another fuse here. A lot of fuses on this board and the fuse is good. I do not know when was the last time I worked on this model card. Are we going to get lucky with this board? A blown fuse and a capacitor, that's it? Or is there something more involved? Data lines, they look good. I mean, nothing obvious beside that burnt cap and the blown fuse. And what if we check the PCIe pins, make sure everything is good.
Yeah, we're good. All right, so let's proceed to replacing the components and see what happens. Now the capacitor is a bypass cap. So it's not going to affect the functionality of the cord. But a short circuit on a capacitor will prevent the cord from working. So let me take out that cap for now. And the fuse right next to it is not blown, but this fuse here is blown. Now the good thing is we do not have a short circuit at the fuse. Otherwise, if we had a short circuit, then we have to solve the short before we replace the fuse. If we do not do that, then the fuse is going to blow again. But in this case, we do not have a short circuit. Right, so we have the fuse in place. I do not have to replace the cap right now. Like I said, that cap is not going to make an impact on the way the cart functions. It's a bypass capacitor. I'll figure out the value later and replace it. But for now, we want to see if the cart will work. If yes, then this cart is deemed a fix. Are we going to be able to save this 2080 Ti? And we need two power connectors, two 12 volts connectors. I have one of them plugged in and I still need to connect one more. Are you ready? We're going to look at this monitor. And we want to see if something will appear on the screen at that logo. One, two, and three. Yes, yes, yes. The card worked. Now the screen went black again because we do not have a heat sink and fan connected. The card overheats and it goes into protection mode. But we were able to get that logo. Wow. 2080 Ti fixed in what? Three minutes? Awesome. I would not spend more than three minutes on this card. So it's a good thing that we got it fixed in three minutes. I'll figure out the value of the capacitor. The capacitor is not really important as far as the functionality of that card. But I'm sure. I'll be able to figure out that value. We have a lot of donors for the 2080. And I'm going to ask Big Buzz to open one of the donors so we can remove that cap and install it on the customer's cart. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Short video, I know. What can you do? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.